So we're at PyCon Ghana 2022. This is a friendly looking micro bit. I can see Mew on the laptop. And hello, who are Hi. you then? My name is Ben Mensah. And what do you do, Ben? I'm a teacher. I chaperone mm. a few students I came here with. Yeah, okay. So you've yeah. brought, brought, your, brought your students yes. to, to, to take part in the micro bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, um, and uh, so you're, you're, you're making a project, right? What, what's what your project? I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make a bedtime storyteller. Okay. And um, what it's supposed to do is that a, a child who wants a story to be told then will mm. press on a button and select a mood. And then based on their moods, yeah. a story that matches the mood will be played. Okay. Ah, yeah. Right, okay. And are you using the speech synthesizer? I am or are you just get, or, the or they read it? But I'm going to be using the buttons. Yeah. So they're going to use, let's say, the A button yeah. to be changing the moods. Yeah. And then if they find the mood they're happy with, yeah. they press on the B. Yeah. And then a story that matches the mood they selected will be played. Right. Okay. And the speaker, yeah. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. So the, the micro bit is the controlling device. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. micro bit determines. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and how have you found the, the workshop? Well, it's been helpful. It's been helpful. Good. Very much to my students, to myself. Yeah. Um, I think it's just friendly and it makes it more practical for students to learn some of these um, conditionals, loops and so on. It makes yeah. it easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you could see yourself using this teaching here in Ghana. Most likely. I look forward to using it very yeah. soon. Oh, fantastic. Very soon. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Most welcome. So. Hello. So who are you then? Uh, my name is Abel. I'm a senior student at American International School. Okay, hi. And so you've been um, taking part in the microbit workshop yep. uh, today and, uh, and yesterday. How have you found it? It was fantastic and it's a great experience. Cool. And you're, you're making a project now, aren't you? Can you tell me a little bit about your project? Yeah, so I tried to do this simple project using the microbit and it's very friendly to you. So what I tried to do basically is to using a flashlight. Yeah. So I put, I call it like a bunch of images, a list of images here. Yeah. So when there's no uh, any source of light, yeah. the microbit shows like a sad face. Sad face. But yeah. when it gets like a light of source, it could be torch. So yeah. it brings like different. Oh, kind of it displays images. random images, a happy yeah. face, a ghost. Yep. A skull, a ghost. Okay, it's random images, a heart, and so on. Oh, fantastic. So you're using the light sensor that's built into the microbit. Yeah. That's fantastic, fantastic. Great stuff. And, um, and you're taking the microbit home. So do you have any further plans for the microbit? Yeah, I'm definitely going to try more like, projects on it. Uh, I'm most likely to order even more microbits to build up like a bigger project. Yeah. Yeah, because they are friendly to use and it's easy to understand them to play with. With it. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you, thank you. letting me know. Yet more micro bits. So, let's see who's behind this lot. So, here we have, who are you? My name is Jesse. Okay. Hi, Jesse. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Ghana. I'm from the US. Yeah. But I'm, I live in Ghana right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you're at the American school? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Thank you. And who are you? Um, I'm Ifwa. Um, I was born in Ghana. I go to um, the SOS College. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. And here we have. Yes. Um, I'm Aaron Chariot. Um, I'm a Kenyan, but now schooling in Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you've all been taking part in the microbit workshop, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, who'd like to tell me what the project is that you've been working on? So the project is about radio communication between microbits. Yeah. So basically, we're on the same channel and we send each other messages. Yeah. So I send the message to maybe like her and then they get the message displayed as a scroll, scrolling the message yep. on their like LEDs. Okay. And then, so yeah. So do you want to show me how that how that works then? Sure. So, Let's say we press the reset button. Mm -hmm. Everybody's pressing their reset buttons, all right, okay. And then you press the, it's if you press A, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'll see hello from Jesse. From Jesse, oh, oh. cool, yeah. And on mine, they get, he gets a hi. Hi from, whoop, there we go, and again. Hi, Aaron. Hi from Aaron. 
Oh, right. Okay, so you were sending it. Ah, right, okay. Okay, cool. And how have you found working with the micro bits? Uh, they, they're very simple to use, especially, I thought it would be more complicated, but it seems that even with the radio transmission, like, because we're on the same channel, the thing you were talking about before about the James Bond thing, yeah, 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 it turned yeah. out to be simpler than we thought. Yeah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Great stuff. Um, I also found like very um, interesting because you know it's something new and I've done Python for some time but now having to you know apply because like there's like, a device involved. Initially it was kind of confusing yeah. but then when I you know, adjusted and it was just you know, smooth sailing from there. Fantastic, that's great stuff. I'm good. It's good to hear and how about yourself? Yeah. It has actually strengthened my knowledge on Python and Arduino because I do Arduino stuff. Yeah. And so it uses some of the Arduino coding and Python coding, so it has strengthened. It's it's it's, it's quite sim similar, isn't it? With the um, oh my phone's gone out of focus. With the GPIO pins at the bottom, isn't it? It's like yeah, that yeah. With, uh, with the with an Arduino. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for showing me what you've been up to. Okay. So there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so, like, uh, what you make this speech of this text, and here he gets angry. Yeah. If you shake, he says, Stop. Yeah. And gets angry. I'm trying to do some. Um, Joke is around here when you touch here. Yeah. So. Yeah. As you, as you touch things, different <laughs> things happen. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, so who who are you then? Uh, what? What's your name? My name is Julia. Hi. Uh, and you're originally from? I'm from Brazil. But you're living in Ghana at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm living in Ghana already two years. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Three years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and you've been part of the microbit day yesterday and today, haven't yes, you? Yeah, yes. yeah. And you've been there's uh, you, you've been very busy because I can see there's an awful lot of code there. Um, yeah. Can you tell me what 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 what, uh, what what you've been doing? You've been making a project, haven't you? The thing that you just showed us. What were you trying to do? Well, I do, I don't know how to explain, but it's like I like uh, learning the codes, so yeah. I can use it um, for myself. Yeah. And for hobbies. Yeah. Um, so I always love it to construct like uh, robots. So ex ex exploring what the microbit yeah. can do and things like that. And how have you found it? How have you found things with the microbit? What? How have you found the microbit? How has it been a good experience? Uh, it's really nice. It yeah. helped me a lot to understand a lot of codes. Yeah. Um, I I always wanted to dominate the Python language. So yeah. The microbit is really helping me to understand a lot of things. Fantastic. So, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. really great. <laughs> great stuff. Thank you very much. Appreciate you taking yeah, the time to take me out. Thank you. Here's a sad looking microbit. Let's see if we can figure out how we can make it happy again. So, who are you? Uh, my name is Jason. And, uh, and where are you from? Um, I'm from AIS. From this, the school, yeah, the, the American school. school. Yeah, okay, cool. And you've been working on a project, haven't you? I can see your source code here on the screen, although there's a reflection there. What does, you, what does your project do? Um, so basically, it's serving as an alarm clock, where yeah. if like, a light source is... It's like the light source is viewed or observed, it shines, it makes it. So it's just essentially ah, it's an alarm clock where... The sun comes up yeah, like, and it wakes you up? Yeah, exactly. Oh, fantastic. That's such a great idea. It's so simple. And how many lines of code? Um, just like 10. 10 lines of code, 10 lines of Python. Do you know what? That's magnificent. And you've been, you've been taking part in the, uh, in the microbit workshop. How did you find the microbits? Very interesting, actually. My first time using it, the microbit, and found it. I like how it's simplistic, but it can do quite a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, cool, great stuff. Well, thank you very much. I really like your project. It's so simple, so simple, but really effective. Okay, yet more fun in the microbit workshop. And uh, I'm joined here by... Princess. Hi, Princess. And where are you from? I'm from the American International School. The American International School, cool. And uh, you've been playing around with the microbit. What have you been trying to do? So I've just been exploring, so yeah. we were giving a worksheet and I was basically working on that. 
Yeah. But now I'm on one of the exercises and I just want to see if I can combine a few things together to kind of make the micro beat, like read the, the storyline and also like display an image. Yeah. Depending on the What's, mood of the story. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you, I can see you've got the, the speech going on there now. So, and that's flashed onto the device, isn't it? So if I press the reset button here, we should be able to hear the speech synthesizer in all its glory. Let me just try that. I can see why you need scrolling text. Because I don't think I could understand any of that. It sounds like a broken loudspeaker at a railway station. How have you found the workshop? Uh, very interesting. I actually never knew about the micro bit, and it was my first time yeah. learning about it. Yeah. And it's quite impressive, especially like the amount of things you can do with it. It looks something. It looks like something very simple, but there's a lot of functionality to it, yeah. which is really interesting. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you telling me about your project. You're welcome. Oh, that's a good sign. It's a happy micro bit. And so, uh, who are you then? Um, my name is Salom. Hello, Salom. And who are you? My name is Jude. Hi, Jude. And so, okay, you've been at the Microsoft workshop. So, Salom, what have you been uh, up to? Um, I am currently making a mic. I'm currently programming a micro bit to, to show an emotion and a phrase and say it's say say the phrase based on what the emotion is okay so you're going to change the tone of voice of the speech synthesizer yes. and you've been reading the documentation as to how to do that cool okay and jude what have you been up to okay, so the aim of my project was to create a basic stopwatch yeah i'm not completely done but yeah so when you press button A, yeah. the stopwatch starts scrolling. Yeah. So it goes to one second, two seconds, seconds. Yeah. three seconds. Basically. And then when you press button B, it's supposed to give you a sound and then tell you how many seconds you took. So it gives you a phrase and then show you a seconds after. Okay. So that's what I've been working so, on. So it's a it's a it's a time a stopwatch for, you know, yeah. Like laps or yeah, whatever yeah 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 training and things like that okay cool that's a great project you two and um so how how have you found the micro bit device what's um, it like using a micro bit so far it's really been simple and i have enjoyed it it's fun and adorable cool yeah i think it has also been very fun and i've learned a lot i just wish that i could show the current time yeah okay that's the problem the micro bit doesn't have a clock in it does it that's the problem but you i think the important thing is that you've overcome that limitation and turned it into something that you can still use to achieve your project ends, which is a really admirable thing to do. That's really good. Well, thank you very much. Thank a couple you. of great projects. Thank you. Okay, more fun in the microbit workshop at PyCon Ghana. So, who are you? Um, my name is Kwame. Hi, Kwame. And uh, you've been taking part in the workshop, yeah? And uh, you've been making a project. Can you tell me about the project? Okay, so for the projects, I created a kind of code that shows the scroll image along with a shape, and then whilst they are playing, there's music playing. Okay, so if you flash flash your code, we should see it. So you see the image. That's the image. And it has a sleep of five seconds. Yeah. And after that, then you see the... So the, school, the school message up in along with the music. Along with the message. Cool. I can hear lots of music going on. There's lots of micro bits playing music at the moment. Cool. And programming. That's good. And and I love. God, there we go. Fantastic. And so, Kwame, how, how have you found using the microbit? Very, very fun, very interesting. I, my first time, I just play around with what I have. Yeah. Try to learn something new all the time. Yeah, good. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help with that.